Okay, so I have the beams up. So now, as you can see, they rest on that little notch that I did. I did actually brace one of them, and I, I realized that I bought uh, a bolt that was just too long. So I went and exchanged them for shorter ones. But that baby's staying. I'm not taking that out. Um, the trick now is to drill these, what are they? I guess they're 5 8 holes. Um, because this actually took a while to drill this hole perfectly um, to get the bolt in. But I think I have the right tool. You're going to need a wired drill. Okay, so a cordless, unless yours is super strong, it's not going to work. So with a the, with the wired drill, um, you can use a bit like this to drill the hole. Or uh, you can use... Oh, what's stuck in there, which is a, uh, what is it called? It's called a spade bit, like this. So I, I bought a set, and right now I'm using the one quarter uh, to make the hole bigger than the bit. So hopefully I can get that spade bit out. We'll see. I know this is not in the manual, and that's probably not how they, the manufacturers intend us to be, but the bit's supposed to be spitting out all these little wood pieces that it drill, you know, as it drills, but it doesn't. And uh, so I'm just using this little uh, saw piece to just remove all these pieces inside because it makes it hard for the uh, bolt to go through. Okay, now that I got most of that junk in there cleared away, I'm just going to hammer this in. There you go. For stability, I'm going to put another uh, 2x10s across the two beams. And then I'm going to put the triangle brace um, so I'm just holding it temporarily in place, but eventually um, I'm going to connect a triangle like this because it makes it stronger. Um, so there's my cutout. But that's what I'll be doing here next. So put this up. I'm going to put that side up and do the same. 